Hey everyone, so today's video I have an infill set for you. These nails are around about two weeks old and at the moment I'm just taking off the old design um, putting it back to its natural look. Um, once I've done that then I move on to my cuticle work which I didn't film for you guys. This whole video is sped up and I wanted to fit as much as I can for you and I didn't want it to be twice as long so some bits I haven't filmed all of it but at the same time I've filmed some bits that you don't normally see. So once I've done that um, I push back the cuticles. Once I've pushed back the cuticles I use a clean drill cleaning bit from Todak USA and I use that on a low speed and I just go around the whole um, cuticle area getting as much as the cuticle off the nail plate as I can because that will cause you lifting and then I move on to my nail nails dehydrator and my NSI's attract acid free primer I apply two coats of my primer and um, me personally I just feel that the acrylic adheres to it better than just applying the one coat just a heads up as well on my clients ring finger I might some of you might come up and say that I've done like a ring of fire with my drill or I've done too much work with around that area with my electric drill which I haven't my client trapped her hand in a car door and unfortunately that mark on her nail will not go away so yeah just to clarify that just in case any of you lot decide to say oh look she's got this she's got that that's not what it is now once I've done my prep and prime I move on to my acrylic application where I'm doing just a small bead near the cuticle area and remembering to place your finger downwards just so the product doesn't run back into the cuticle and doesn't flood the cuticle because if you get any product on your skin or in the cuticle area that will cause you lifting and it is such a pain for us nail techs and yeah it just doesn't look nice so if you can try and avoid it then do that and because my client only has an, um, a natural overlay she doesn't have any artificial tips on there I do feel that I have to apply just a little bit more acrylic near the free edge just to give it just a bit more strength um, and obviously around the apex area as well once I've applied all my acrylic I let that dry it is quite a warm sunny day so the acrylic didn't take as long to um, dry so once I've done that I let it set and then I go on to my e-file and then I just reshape the free edge just because I felt like I had to just a little bit more once I've um, done my filing and made a buff and everything as well then I remove all my dust cleanse all the nails from the dust and anything like that and then I move on to my design so I'll meet you guys right back Okay, so the design I'm doing um, is a red and white design. Now on the little finger, the middle finger, the pointer finger and the firm is all red. And I apply two thin coats of this. Remembering you must apply your gel polish with thin even coats because otherwise they will not cure properly underneath your lamp. I place this under my LED lamp for, th uh, lamp for 30 seconds. If you have a UV lamp then it will be about two minutes. On my ring finger I apply my Blue Sky White Gel Polish and I felt I had to apply three coats because it didn't look as opaque to me on the second coat. I don't know why, I just felt like I had to do the third coat because me, I don't like to see through the nail, if you know what I mean. Once I've done that then I do a bit of stamping. Now once I've let all my nails cure, on the ring finger, the white nail, I get a born pretty stamper I haven't got the plate number on to me to hand but I'll leave it in, all in the description box below 
I get my Conad Red um, Stamping Polish and I just do a whole nail design of little love hearts and I stamp that onto the ring finger and then on the index finger, the pointer finger, I use another Born Pretty stamping plate and stamp the word love and just some little love hearts around it and that is basically the whole design. It's very cute, very simple, nothing too fancy or flashy. Um, so yeah, that's just a design look. I've left some pictures down below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm so, so close to 100 subscribers and I am so thankful for everybody who stuck around and supported me. Um, I'll, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave it down below. Also leaving a link to my Facebook page where you can see more up-to-date nails as well. Um, also on my Instagram, you will see a bunch of nails that I do, which I don't normally post onto my YouTube um, all the time and also it has some personal stuff on there as well so yeah um until next time guys much love bye